Hey guys, I'm Tim Langston with Red Dog Bushcraft. I thought today, since we're in the spring season, at least for most of, our, most of us around the country, I would show you what I use to help protect myself against ticks, chiggers, mites, and mosquitoes. This product is made for hunting, fishing, and camping, and it is treatment for all of your outdoor fabric gear. The box says that it's good for netting, tents, canopies, screened enclosures, sleeping bags, backpack, ground cloths, hammocks, and camping chairs, but not good for your skin, at least not when it's applied wet directly to your skin. This is a product that is designed to treat your clothing and your sleeping bags and your outside gear. I've had great success for this stuff, and it is made by Sawyer's, and the name of it is... Permethrin. Thank you, Leanne. I have a hard time saying that. But I wanted to show you exactly how I use it to treat my clothing because it's a little bit different than what the directions on the box call for. Imagine that. I'm going outside the box. Okay, so this thing, it says that one of these small containers, this is the size that I bought at Walmart, is good for two complete sets of clothing. And that includes the shirt, pants, and socks. So two complete sets. Now what I do is I set it on the spray applicator and I treat the waistline on the outside and the inside of the garment real well. Once I have sprayed the waistline, I concentrate on the zipper area. Notice these are all the areas where the creepy crawlies can get to you. Put a good band around the legs both inside and out, the bottom of the cuffs there. Open that up. Spraying it a little bit heavier in these areas than I do the rest of the garment. And then I simply start to apply it a nice coating all the way along the legs, all the way back up to the waist. And then the same thing on the back side. Now, there is one other place that I concentrate my spray. And the sprayer is nice. It missed about as wide as my pants legs are. But once I get up to the buttocks area, right around the top of the pockets, along the edge, and down that seam, you know how it is. You go out and you sit right in that nest of ticks and chiggers. Well, I don't want to have to worry about them at those seam areas. So I spray a little bit of extra right in that seat area, then right across the pockets. Now once the garment is completely coated, I've already got it folded. I fold this thing over and I roll it up. And I will continue to do any other garments in the same fashion. And then I just keep rolling one garment into the other. And when I'm done, now the directions on the box say, after you spray it, hang it up, let it dry. Once it's dry, then it's safe to wear, and it's good for so many washes. But what I have found is that if I roll it up, put it inside of a plastic bag, pull the air out of it, and roll that up in that plastic bag, and I'll let this sit here for 24 hours, let it stay saturated, the next day I come back and I take my dry garment, or I take the garment out of the bag, and I like to use a table or a clothesline. You lay this thing out to where it can completely dry. Once it's dry then, I use this, these pieces of clothing all year long. I treat my clothes usually right at the end of winter just as spring's coming out, I got a couple of pair of pants that I'm late doing this year. I try to do it before the ticks and chiggers come out. And by treating several sets of clothes that I wear on the outside, there's enough rotation there that I'm able to get an entire season right on up until that, you know, third, fourth frost that we have that starts to wane off those bugs. And I've had great success with this. We've had a tremendous growth in the tick and both chigger population in our area. And uh, I don't like applying a lot of chemicals to my skin 
I have a nightmare story to where I was using a bug dope and sunscreen and it had a chemical reaction on my skin. It burnt my skin. It melted the tube on my camelback. Took the paint off my Oakley glasses. And it was at that point that I decided that I really needed to find some other way of protecting myself because going out unprotected is just not an option in my area. So this is what works for me. Give it a try. I hope it works as well for you as it has me. And uh, thanks for joining me once again. I'm Tim Langston with Red Dog Bushcraft, home of global safety and survival. Until next time, God bless. Hey guys, I'm Tim Lynch with Red Dog Bushcraft. Hey, just shot a video on how to use this bug treatment called permethrin. Thank you, Leanne. I have a hard time pronouncing that. And I wanted to show you just a quick tip. If you're anything like me, you have multiple clothes that you wear out into the bush. And I forget which ones I've treated and which ones I didn't. An easy way to solve that problem is I go to the inside of the pants where the label is and I take a Sharpie marker and I put a T right on the inside of that pocket. That really soaks up that ink and holds there very well. And now I have a mark right beside the label. So when I get ready to put my pants on, I know that that garment has been treated. Works on your shirts and anything with a tag too. That's your tip of the week from Red Dog Bushcraft, home of global safety and survival. Until next time, God bless.